Matthew Perry had the type of success that most can only dream of, but it also came with a cost. From numerous hospitalizations to the many years he spent battling his addiction, Perry's personal life was far from perfect. Matthew Perry was raised in Ottawa, Canada, and his parents were significant figures. His father, John Bennett Perry, was an American actor best recognized for minor roles in films like The Legend of the Lone Ranger. Meanwhile, Perry's mother, Suzanne Marie Morrison, was a former beauty queen who served as press secretary to the country's prime minister. They're both people that take over a room, you know, when they come in. Unfortunately, the pair separated before their son reached his first birthday. Perry's mother would find a new partner and celebrated Dateline correspondent Keith Morrison. However, the young performer admitted that he didn't see much of them while he was growing up. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry wrote, I spent a great deal of time alone. Even more tragically, when it came to seeing his father, Perry wrote, I saw his face more often on TV or in magazines than I did in reality. Perry also admitted that he started misbehaving at an early age. By the age of 10, he was smoking and stealing money. Meanwhile, Perry admitted to having his first taste of alcohol at 14. It may come as a surprise that before Perry became an actor, he had his sights set on a tennis career. The actor first hit the court when he was four years old. Training nearly 10 hours a day by age 13, he ranked among the best for juniors in his home country of Canada. However, when Perry moved in with his father in California, the reality of a sports career seemed much more daunting. He explained in a 2012 interview with Men's Health, I was a very good tennis player in Ottawa, Canada, nationally ranked when I was like 13. And then I moved to Los Angeles when I was 15, and everyone in LA just killed me. I was pretty great in Canada, not so much in Los Angeles. Thankfully, the young star had a backup plan. He told Men's Health, I realized I wouldn't be playing tennis for a living, so I went for acting. Are tennis and acting alike? I don't know, they're both very mental games. While his career ultimately went in a different direction, tennis remained a passion for the actor, as his last public appearance was reportedly at the 2023 French Open in Paris. Matthew Perry openly expressed that the most significant demon of his life was his addiction struggles. His memoirs released just one year before his passing illuminated many of the challenges that the actor faced. He described himself as an alcoholic since he first started drinking as a teenager. However, his addictions overtook his life after he was prescribed painkillers following a jet ski accident in 1997, resulting in his first stay at a rehabilitation clinic the same year. By 2000, Perry's drinking led to him being hospitalized with pancreatitis. That same year, he crashed his Porsche into the steps of his Hollywood home. In a 2002 interview with People, the actor describes the amount of drugs and alcohol he was consuming at the time. He told the outlet that it ingests as many as 55 Vicodin a day while drinking upwards of a quart of vodka. Well, I had to wake up and realize that I needed to get 55 of them or I was going to be really sick. In a separate 2022 interview with People, Perry admitted, I didn't know how to stop. If the police came over to my house and said, if you drink tonight, we're going to take you to jail, I'd stop packing. I couldn't stop because the disease and the addiction is progressive, so it gets worse and worse as you grow older. Matthew Perry's addiction problems ultimately collided with his acting career. Perry landed the role of Chandler Bing when he was 24 years old, just as his addiction was truly beginning to take the reins. He told people, I could handle it, kind of, but by the time I was 34, I was really entrenched in a lot of trouble. While appearing on BBC Radio 2 in 2016, he was questioned on his least favorite episode from Friends, and he candidly replied, I think the answer is, I don't remember three years of it. He went on to admit that season 3 to season 6 were blurred in his memories. The actor struggled to look back at his time on the beloved sitcom, as it was equally one of the most challenging eras of his life. He told Tom Power in an interview, I can't watch the show because I was brutally thin and being beaten down so badly by the disease. I could tell season by season by how I looked, and I don't think anybody else can, but I certainly could. As Perry's struggles with addiction intensified, he worried about disappointing his co-stars. The actor said in an ABC News interview, I made a rule that I would never drink or take anything at work, but I would show up blindly hungover. I thought I was hiding it so well. Unfortunately, the five other prominent friends were each affected by Perry's struggles at one point or another. Lisa Kudrow told the New York Times, When Matthew was sick, it was not fun. We were just hopelessly standing on the sidelines. We were hurting a lot. Meanwhile, Matt LeBlanc also admitted to people that he tried to help his on-screen roommate, but ultimately felt like there was little 
little he could do. However, it was Jennifer Aniston whom Perry praised in his ABC interview, saying, But she was the one that reached out the most. You know, I'm really grateful to her for that. Perry conceded that he would not have made it through 10 seasons without his castmates. Writing in his memoir, they were patient. It's like penguins. Penguins in nature when one is sick or when one is very injured, the other penguins surround it and prop it up. They walk around it until that penguin can walk on its own. But that's kind of what the cast did for me. Perry had a lifelong grudge match with his addiction. One of his biggest realizations came when he put the numbers down for how much he has invested into getting clean. He told the New York Times, I've probably spent $9 million or something trying to get sober. It's still a day-to-day -day process of getting better. In addition to the time and effort he put into sobriety, Perry also did his part to give back. In 2013, he opened the doors of his Malibu beach house, transitioning it into a dedicated sober living facility for men suffering from addiction. Is if somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. The aptly named Perry House was eventually sold in 2015 because of the high operating costs of living in Malibu. However, Perry continued to take significant pride in being able to help those who have suffered the same hurdles as himself. He told People magazine, When I die, I'd like friends to be listed behind helping people. After decades of pushing his health to the brink, a substance use caught up with Matthew Perry in 2018. The actor suffered a gastrointestinal perforation and narrowly survived the traumatic event. He told People in 2022, The doctors told my family that I had a 2% chance to live. I was put on a thing called an ECMO machine, which does all the breathing for your heart and your lungs, and that's called a Hail Mary. No one survives that. Perry revealed that the life-threatening situation put him in a coma for two weeks followed by a five-month hospital stay. However, the close call had lasting implications on his life. He had over a dozen surgeries and carried a colostomy bag for nine months as a result of his health complications. He recalled, My therapist said the next time you think about taking OxyContin, just think about having a colostomy bag for the rest of your life. A little window opened and I crawled through it, and I no longer want OxyContin anymore. Undoubtedly, Perry counted his blessings and used his second chance at life to complete his memoirs. There were five people put on an ECMO machine that night, and the other four died and I survived. Many of the details of Matthew Perry's life have only become available thanks to the actor's 2022 memoir. However, when the book was published, Perry received heavy backlash from fans and celebrities alike for taking punches at one of Hollywood's most beloved figures, Keanu Reeves. Perry wrote in the book, Why is it that the original thinkers like River Phoenix and Heath Ledger die, but Keanu Reeves still walks among us? By all accounts, the Friends actor had never professionally crossed paths with the Matrix star, making the name drop more confusing. In the wake of the one-sided feud, many celebrities vocalized their defense for Reeves. Billy Baldwin said in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, in a world full of Matthew Perry's via Keanu Reeves. Following the negative reaction, Perry was quick to apologize. The actor said in a statement to Deadline, I'm actually a big fan of Keanu. I just chose a random name, my mistake. I apologize, I should have used my own name instead. Throughout his life, Matthew Perry dated some of the biggest actresses in Hollywood. Some of the high-profile women that crossed paths with the actor included Julia Roberts and Gwyneth Paltrow. Sadly, despite rubbing elbows with some of the most elite bachelorettes, Perry never held down a committed relationship for long. While talking about his past romantic life, Perry wrote in his book, I need love, but I don't trust it. If I drop my game like Chandler and show you who I really am, you might notice me. But worse, you might notice me and might leave me, and I can't have that. On one of his most heartbreaking breakups, he wrote, I was broken, bent, unlovable. So instead of facing the inevitable agony of losing her, I broke up with the beautiful and brilliant Julia Roberts. Are you dating this Matthew Perry guy? I am dating this Matthew Perry guy. Mm -hmm. The friend star seemed to have finally found love when he got engaged to Molly Hurwitz in 2020. However, the pair called off the wedding a few months later, with Perry telling people, Sometimes things just don't work out, and this is one of them. With all the tribulations that Matthew Perry faced throughout his life, the actor had seemingly gotten himself back on a healthy track. While promoting his book in 2022, he boasted a clean lifestyle. In his interview with People, he even joked, I'm pretty healthy now. I've got to not go to the gym much more because I don't want to only be able to play superheroes. But no, I'm a pretty healthy guy right now. With the worst seemingly behind the beloved sitcom star, it was extra shocking when it was revealed on October 28, 2023, that Perry had died from an apparent drowning in a hot tub. Perry's family wrote in a statement to People, We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother. 
Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. Additionally, they sent a message to Perry's fans across the globe. You all meant so much to him, and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.